Hi, I'm Colleen Mulholland, the CEO of Burlington Foundation. The courage of COVID is stopping at absolutely nothing to help our most vulnerable neighbours manage through this devastating pandemic. Doing nothing is simply not an option. I am motivated each and every day when I see and I experience the power of community coming together, providing hope for a better tomorrow. Hi, my name is Julia Hanna. I am a community builder and a food activist, and I own a restaurant in North Oakville called Retorno. Now the courage of COVID is to be grateful, even with a COVID-19 pandemic. What has the pandemic taught me? It's taught me to look at myself, to look at how I can be a better person how I can be a better partner, a better mother, and someone who can give back to a community that has given so much to her. COVID has given us a moment of pause. It's been forced upon us through no choice of our own. And so much has been lost to COVID. It is so powerful to be able to give back at a time when you feel like so much has been taken away from you. And COVID has taught me that recognizing the things that matter, the people that matter, and that everyone in your community is connected to you and they matter, and to do your part, however little you may think it is, it is a contribution to making things better. And COVID will not rob us of being better people. My name is Nancy Romick and I'm the Executive Director of Schiffer Homes, a maternity residence located in Burlington, Ontario. The courage of COVID for me is being able to provide a safe shelter for young homeless pregnant women and their babies and safely bringing these babies into the world during these uncertain times. My motivation every single day is these amazing young women and precious babies being able to provide them with the home, the support, the services, everything that they need. Uh, I always work really hard on empowering these young women so that they not only survive, but that they thrive. I'm Brenda Duke and I believe in the power of grassroots community engagement to bring people together and build relationships and community. The courage of COVID is doing your best and supporting others to live a rewarding and fulfilling life during challenging times. A lot of things stopped during COVID, but community gardens continued to grow. Food security was more of an issue than ever and environmental concerns like climate change, pollution, and debris needed to be addressed. A lot of volunteers have spent hundreds of hours over the years on these projects, and they wanted to continue. My goal was to support them, encourage and facilitate their work so that they could do a meaningful and rewarding job for their community. Thank you for considering my nomination for Woman of Distinction on behalf of these volunteers. The courage of COVID is optimism, resilience, and change that's needed. For me, the pandemic really showed how deep inequities and systemic barriers run, not just within our community, but our province, Canada, and the world. So those communities that were vulnerable pre-pandemic were challenged even more. These inequities are unacceptable and changes are necessary. I'm Melanie McCauley, Executive Director for Sacagawea Nonprofit Housing. The courage of COVID is community. My motivation was to continue work this past year. It's taught me no matter what the crisis is, there are still individuals that require housing and supports. Thank you. Scano Swaglego, Owehne Hahni Gyaso, Polalang is my English name. 
I am Mohawk from Six Nations of the Grand River Territory, and I'm Turtle Clan. To me, the courage of COVID means looking inside yourself to find your voice. And not only finding that voice, but using it to go from beyond surviving to thriving. I've been an educator for most of my life in my community. And although I'm not working right now, when COVID hit, my children were expected to be working from home and online. And for some people, this might not seem like a problem, but for us, it was. We have next to no access to internet um, at our home. And that continues to be a problem, although steps are being made to find the infrastructure and the dollars to create the infrastructure to have that here on Six Nations Reserve. I hope that we as parents, as community members, and as women caretakers continue to stand up and speak and teach our children to find their voice and speak up for positive change also. Thank you. Yeah. Hi, my name is Amber Rushton and I'm the Community Emergency Management Coordinator for the City of Burlington. I believe the courage of COVID is individual grit, collective grace, and community integrity. My motivation to continue to lead our emergency response efforts for the city was deeply rooted in my desire to serve alongside my colleagues and affect positive change. Emergency management is all about bringing people together to do their part. So my motivation was born out of a desire to serve and affect change. But over time, as we continued to respond to the pandemic, my motivation became deeply rooted in bringing together the corporation and the community to collectively limit the spread of the virus, physically distance while finding ways to be radically present with one another all the while building greater corporate and community resilience. Together we're stronger. I've witnessed that firsthand. Together we're stronger. Having an opportunity to witness to acts of kindness and great collaboration across a community in such brokenness. I'd say that's enough for anyone to keep doing their part. So I'm gonna keep doing mine. Thank you. I'm Gabriela Kovac and I work as a career specialist with Moha College. My life revolves around the causes and community events I'm involved in supporting one of the most vulnerable population, women and children. The courage of COVID is, for me, collective actions. Why collective actions? Because the most important part we learned during the pandemic is that we depend on support from other people. In a year where the mantra was, please stay two feet apart, we stay so close together, more like in any other situation or any other year. And this is the most important part we need to remember and learn from. The Courage of COVID is community. I'm Shannon Tobin and I'm the founder and CEO of Dare to Be Youth Charity based here in Burlington. What has the COVID-19 pandemic taught me? It's simple, we need each other, not just to survive, but to thrive. And whether it's the intentional decisions to support our local businesses um, or simply picking up the phone to check in on each other. You know, the one thing I know for sure is kindness has not been canceled and it costs absolutely nothing. And we can't give what we don't have. And so being kind to ourselves is just as important, you know, that daily self care. And for those of us who have children, they're watching us now more than ever before and seeing how we respond or react to the challenges that aren't in our control and during this crisis. You know, I think most of us are really having a hard time and whether we take that breather and whether we take that walk um, to the lake um, just to take care of our mental health and well-being, it really does show up um, in how we live our life and how we serve in our community and in our families. And optimism and courage are absolutely vital as we shape our new normal. You know, it takes both to see beyond the immediate crisis. And I believe uh, leaders, and we are all leaders, who can truly demonstrate these qualities will emerge stronger, more trusted, and more valued. 
we must keep optimism and courage front and center. And if you don't have a purpose, I encourage you to find one. You know, when we become purpose driven and we put others in front, front and center, everything changes. Hi there, I'm Alexis Swanzowski and I'm the executive director of Hamilton Jewish Family Services. The courage of COVID is found in the actions of everyone. This COVID-19 pandemic has taught me a whole lot about patience. It's shown me how one person's action can make a significant difference. And it's really reminded me about the strengths that we have here in the Hamilton community. The only way for us to get through this pandemic is for us to support each other with compassion, understanding, and care. Hello, my name is Amanda DeFalco, and I'm an improvement advisor with the Canadian Alliance to End Homelessness. The courage of COVID is compassion. The COVID-19 pandemic has taught me never to let a crisis go to waste and to use this pandemic as an opportunity to continue to fight for housing as a basic human right, to reconcile many of the inequities that have been amplified during this pandemic for people experiencing homelessness in our community and across this country. Housing is medicine. Hi, my name is Andrea Pullman, and I am the regional manager of the GHA for a company called Pavement, as well as the past chair of an organization called Hamilton Hive. And I'm also an independent marketing and business consultant. To me, the courage of COVID is community. It's being together any way we can when we're, we are forced to be apart. Uh, it's empathy and it's community and it's building relationships with people even though we don't really know how to do that in this new space. The thing that's inspired me the most throughout this pandemic is other people. <laughs> their ingenuity, uh, their perseverance, their ability to adapt and overcome the challenges that are being thrown at us. All of those things are so inspiring to me and that's why I use my platform to elevate other people and to try and share as much information as possible. Hi, my name is Ashley Montague and I am one of the co-owners of Black Owned and I am your connection specialist. Simply put, I am a community builder. The courage of COVID is finding the strength to push forward even when we do not know what the future holds. This year, the pandemic has taught me the power of community. Now, I've always thought Hamilton is an amazing city, but this year proved it to be the best city. It's been amazing watching each and every one of us come together in support of local businesses and each other. It is witnessing this that continues to motivate me to do what I do in the community. My name is Dallas Lombardi and I am VP of Sales and Special Events at Equal Parts Hospitality and I'm a business and lifestyle mentor for small business owners and aspiring leaders. I am also a writer and I have a blog where I share my journey in hospitality, leadership and lifestyle with the intention to humanize the executive experience. The courage of COVID is grace under pressure. What's inspired me the most throughout this pandemic is community. Witnessing people come together as a collective to help one another pivot their businesses and lifestyle has been truly inspiring to see and be a part of. My name is Julie Freeman. I'm a nurse and a clinical informatics specialist at Hamilton Health Sciences. I started Feast in the Hammer to support local restaurants and to donate food to Hamiltonians in need. To me, the courage of COVID is everywhere. It's everyone who's working at a grocery store or a gas station. It's everyone who's working from home or trying to figure out how to homeschool their kids. It's everyone who's doing everything they can to get us through this as safely as possible. I was inspired to start Feast in the Hammer by my fellow nurses um, who are working tirelessly to take care of our community. It was difficult for me not being a bedside nurse anymore, um, knowing that 
I couldn't use my skills in that way to help during the pandemic. And so I wanted to make sure that I was doing everything that I possibly could to take care of my community and uh, to help people in need. Hello, my name is Carol DiStefano and I am one of the co-founders of Free Mom Hugs Southern Ontario. The courage of COVID for me would be kindness. Being kind to yourself and to others during the pandemic is vital. Sharing kindness, giving kindness, it's free. It doesn't cost anything, but it makes you feel so good. Free Mom Hug Southern Ontario is in existence to offer unconditional love and support to the LGBTQ plus community. Unfortunately for many in the LGBTQ plus community, the pandemic has negatively affected their health and well-being more disproportionately than in the general population. Some youth, they live in families where they're not supported or worse, kicked out of the house for simply being LGBTQ and coming out to their families. Many in this community also experience mental, physical, or verbal abuse in their homes, making it an unsafe environment. The pandemic has left many in the LGBTQ plus community isolated and cut off from the community. Lack of funding and programming for this community is scarce at best, if not non-existent. Free Mom Hugs, then Southern Ontario, had to be a safe space for the LGBTQ plus community. We had to show that we really meant we're here for to offer unconditional love and support. This doesn't end during a pandemic. Closing the group was absolutely never an option. We had to continue to be a soft space for the LGBTQ plus community to land. The motivation uh, to continue my work with Free Mom Hug Southern Ontario is to show the LGBTQ plus community through love and through action that we meet when we say. And even in a pandemic, we're here for you. We want to support you and we love you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Kofo Olabi. I'm the founder of Core Travel and I'm also the community lead for Hamilton Frempreneurs. The courage of COVID is to me choosing light in the midst of darkness choosing faith in the midst of fear, and choosing connection in the face of loneliness and distance. What this pandemic has taught me is to never give up defending your sense of belonging. It's that thing beyond food and water, just like air, that helps us thrive. And while we are navigating this pandemic, and one day it will become a thing of the past, and that day is coming, it's those who are important to us, our family, our friends, and our community around us that's going to help us bounce back into the people that we want to be. And so I encourage every woman in the Hamilton, Halton region, every community leader, to start sowing those seeds of belonging. Because the seeds that we sow now and today is going to determine the fruit that we want to pick up in the future. Hello, my name is Lisa Messi. I am the co-coordinator of Keeping Six Hamilton Harm Reduction Action League and the program director for the Hamilton Social Medicine Response Team. To me, the courage of COVID is acknowledging and facing up to the reality that those in power vested with the resources and the mandate to protect our communities have neither the imagination nor the political will to do it. The courage of COVID, like all organizing, is confronting and embracing that it is us in community that take care of one another as it has always been, and many have always known. I draw inspiration from so many locally, nationally, and really around the world who are taking up the call to organize for a better world. I would like to particularly acknowledge um, today the people I work with day in and day out, my colleagues and friends in Keeping Six and Hamsmart, and others living on the street and those who use drugs. 
For us at K6 and Hamsmart, centering the experience and expertise of the people who live it is a practice, not an exercise. And it's a game changer when it comes to creating change. The resilience, intelligence, and ingenuity of the people we work with is a constant source of inspiration for me and a reminder of what is truly important in life. Hello everybody, my name is Lohifa Pogason Aka. I am a hairstylist and owner at Lo Did That here in Hamilton, Ontario. The courage of COVID is unity of purpose. It pains me to see people discouraged or sad or in dismay. So during the pandemic, I shared stories about my personal coping strategies and other personal experiences with the pandemic in general, knowing that these stories brought joy and laughter and smiles to people, encouraged me and motivated me to continue to show up and share. And I'm so blessed that I'm able to do that till this day. Hello, my name is Melton Fadan. Most people know me as Mel, aka Purple. I am a mom of two, a loving wife, and a multilingual boss babe of F Squared Engravables, where I help you create everlasting memories with custom engraving services and personalized gifts for every occasion. I started this business just before a global pandemic in the hopes of removing language and communication barriers within our community by providing my skill set and services in every written language. To me, the courage of COVID is the persistence to keep going forward. This pandemic has been difficult for many people, especially for our mental health. What I do is create small custom gifts that help bring joy in these tough times. Hi, my name's Rachel Braithwaite and I'm the Executive Director for the Barton Village Business Improvement Area Association. The courage of COVID is resiliency. Um, the thing that has inspired me through this pandemic has been the resiliency of our small businesses and our community. Um, the fact that they have been able to pivot completely their business model in order to safely support the community has been so inspirational. Um, we've had small restaurants who have been able to take on the whole operations by themselves. Usually they have a, a staff, but they've been doing the ordering, the cooking, the cleaning, everything. Um, so kudos to them because it really shows the capability of our local Hamiltonians who are operating uh, businesses at this time and being able to do it so creatively too through creating uh, special um, customized packages for take home, making it the experience that you're able to take home as well as the food, which is really unique to, to Hamilton and, and how creative they are. So that has been really inspirational to me through COVID. Hello, my name is Robin LaCombra, pronoun she, her. I am the creator and owner of Good Body Feel Movement Studio. I'm a social justice advocate and an empowered embodiment educator. The courage of COVID is adaptability and resilience. And one of the major things that this pandemic has taught me is that when we honor pace, when we prioritize rest and prioritize access, then collectively as a species, we become way more creative uh, and have more ability to envision and seed inclusive, compassionate environments. So that is what inspired me to keep my work going during this pandemic is to remind folks of our tools, remind folks of our interdependence so that we can create the world, the environment um, that we all deserve to thrive in. I am Samantha Mercanti and I am the executive manager of Mercanti Management Inc. The courage of COVID is mental health awareness and hope. I have been advocating for mental health and mental illness for many years. I began speaking in 2008 and started my blog in January of 2020. At the beginning of the pandemic, I knew that this was going to deeply hurt everyone's mental health. So I continued to write and share my story in order to share a little bit of hope 
through my words. I share my story for so many reasons, and my goal is to make that one person know that they are not alone and that there is hope. I also took on the responsibility of the Charity of Hope's virtual gala. I did this because I knew that during difficult times, children and youth need us and they need us even more. I will continue to share my story, continue to spread hope, and continue to advocate. Hello, my name is Serena Buffalino, and I am the CEO of Help Heal Humanity. To me, the courage of COVID is somebody who rises above any type of crises, suffering, sadness um, happening in the world. Um, they take it upon themselves to go out to be of service and spread love. And uh, what inspired me throughout this pandemic is the ability to be home in my hometown of Hamilton, Ontario, to see uh, the various people living in tent cities and to be able to go out and, and give them a meal and give them warm clothes and give them the essential items that they need to get through the day. So for me, um, this pandemic has just taught me to be resilient, to be strong and to put in service where service is needed. My name is Sumeya Abed. I'm a scientist and lecturer at McMaster University. I'm also the founder and director of the intergenerational co-housing program, Symbiosis. The courage of COVID is for me to continue our work helping two vulnerable populations in our community, older adults who have been suffering from an increased social isolation and loneliness during this pandemic, as well as young professionals and students who are struggling with the financial burden COVID has put on them. The pandemic has had huge effects on many people's lives, particularly vulnerable populations. So that's why it made a lot of sense, now more than ever, to continue our work of connecting older adults with young students for a mutually beneficial housing relationship, with the aim of reducing social isolation and loneliness, as well as easing the financial burden many students are going through. Hi, I'm Teresa Horak. I am the owner, founder and CEO of Lola Incorporated, which is a small business support company here in Hamilton, Ontario. What has inspired me most during the pandemic is my team, my staff, and most importantly, all the small businesses that we support. Watching them go from the fear when we first got the news to finding solutions for innovating and, and pivoting their businesses to stay alive, to keep on going and, and f you know, fight one more day. And being part of that has been amazing. Being part of their journey, helping them, being there when they phone me like 8.30 in the morning and distressed because how are they going to carry on and, and helping them find those solutions, find things, find ways to, you know, to, to, get money to get funding you know like you know we're so fortunate with all the subsidies and and the grants that's been made available but finding them and getting them to apply and just pivoting their businesses changing how they work that has been my inspiration my name is Sandra Jenkins and I am a volunteer within the community the courage of COVID is choosing to care for others within community in ways that truly count and make a difference my motivation to continue my contributions during the pandemic has been witnessing even greater needs within the community and strongly believing that we are meant to help others however we can. I value treating others how I wish to be treated and living out that which I want to see in this world. <laughs> 